We're back at Celebration again. So we're back at Celebration, Nike factory store. Oh no, am I gonna fix that? Honestly, I can't remember the last time I've been here. But anyways, let's go inside the building and see what's popping. In the middle of my intro, the alarm went off. I hope you guys can still hear me. Oh, finally, it stopped. <laughs> then it started all over again. That's crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Never switch on the homies in the day ones. They didn't want to open doors, so we made some. Take a bow on these haters like I'm Trey Young. That direct deposit hidden like a bass drum. I'm Incoming. taking a look at these Nike heavyweight hoodies with a long jawstring. These joints are fire. Great, great quality. Similar to the one I got on right now. This is also a heavyweight, 13 ounce, ball on the budget, heather gray joint. You guys don't know, I'm a hoodie enthusiast. And this joint hits for $54.99. It's also got the black crew, and that's hitting for the same price. That's crazy. A crew neck, the same price as a hoodie. But anyways, guys, they also got multiple different colors. They got this fawn color, golden harvest joint. It's going for 70 beans. They got the pants to match. And also, they also got this orange colorway as well. Same price. I think this one's $64.69 and Heather Gray. Let's not forget that. And it's still got $14 sweatpants, if y'all interested. Size small, large. Do I see any extra large? Yup, they got you in all sizes. They do got 20% off the back wall, also known as the hash wall. And I have found some Jordan 2 Lows, the maroon colorway. They're starting at 150. Some Jordan 36. These are going for 70 with 20 off. I also found some white cement ones, high OGs, four and a half by retail. So that's a, ooh. Y'all saw that? <laughs> Y'all saw that catch? Damn, I caught that on camera, literally. <laughs> they also got the undefeated 37s. I like that colorway. Now this store does have the refurbished section. Actually, let's pop over there real quick. Look what I find in size seven. Found some pennies, but these are not any pennies. I believe these are the social status penny. They are small sizes though. I have found a few pairs in outlet, not this colorway. See that pink air bubble unit and back heel? That's what's different about them, even outsole. These joints hit for 100 with 20% off. Fortunately, these are the only sizes in the building, size seven. We do got some Air Max ones, the yellow and black colorway. Not mad at it, going for seven. For 20 off, I think that's a good deal. Air Jordan 1 Lows, these are different. I don't even remember seeing these. Are these golf? More likely. These joints are golf, hard pass. So there's nothing to see in the refurbished section. However, right next to it are these Paul George. It's been a minute since I saw PG in the building. You got the Hot Rod version, which I purchased. Oh shoot, I didn't even see these Jordan ones. Look at what these are called. These joints are actually called the Heritage Air Jordan 1. It's huge, size 16, but they're hitting for 150. Who's copping? And you get both laces on these joints. However, this is the only size in the building and you get an additional 20% off with your purchase. And unfortunately, it's these Hot Rods PG6s, the only size in the building. I think they're him for retail too. Yep, 120. All right, now nah, I think retail was 140 because it's supposed to be a collab. Huge shoe. Great for hooping though. I should rock a lot of PGs. I'm so sad that he's no longer with Nike, but PGs not only affordable, but they're very, very good hooping shoe. This particular one, they decided to change the tooling on the outsole, so it's now full length react, no longer a zoom on the forefoot, which I think is perfect play for guard. Keep you on your toes, be ready to shoot, you know what I mean, give the mobility that you need. I never tried the sixes, unfortunately, but I have never been disappointed with any PGs at all, so I'll give the grace that these are good as well. They also got the Morants in the building, the Jaw ones, there's a few of them, so we'll find another one. These look like size 17s or 18s, potentially. Size 18, 110 is the price with additional 20. I found another Heritage one, same size, size 16, 180 is the price. Nike Adjust, let's look at retail. ATL Air Force One Lows, 109 with 20 on. Oh, there's more J's in the building. We got these joints, these are the sixes. And these are not golf. They're huge though. See, no golf. I'm not sure what they're called, but they're going for retail. And they're size 18, not sure what retail is though. However, these sixes are golfs. They're also lows. Retail is well, size 13. Also LeBron 21's at the bottom, $89, size 18 with 20 off, not a bad price. More Jordan sixes. What size are these? These are size 13. Hitting for $200 and you get an additional 20% off. Also on this rack, we also find some Nike Dunk High UNC colorway. I actually like these, not bad. <laughs> yo, people have been struggling putting that shoe on shelf, yo. It felt like three times. Now y'all know, this was not here the last time I was here. This is a size 12 in the Air Max 1 corduroy in this colorway. And I need this colorway in my size. I bought other sizes, but mine, but they're here. But I think it's hitting for retail, even though you're getting 20% off. I don't want to pay that 129 with additional 20. However, I will consider doing a size swap back at this store. The last pair I purchased was from a different store. So I'm gonna see if they allow me to 
swap it to get my size. So you know your boy had to scan it and these are the sizes. They even got a 13 in the building. However, 12 did not show up, but clearly there's a 12 in hand. I actually checked the label sizing. So these are legit 12s and the box says it to confirm. Eventually I get a pair, but not at that price, man. 170 is still steep, even with 20 off. Whoa. So I just confirmed with them, these are hitting for $59.99 with addition 20% off. The box ain't the box, but it doesn't matter, man. I care about the shoes, wanna do a custom, and these are my actual shoe size, and they told me I could return my other pair and I get my money back, which is cool. So they got like a 30, 60 day rule. That means 30 days if his shoe's been worn, they'll return it, 60 days. Uh, not worn, they'll return it, but I bought my shoes less than 60 days ago and they're not worn. But this is my true size, man, so I think I'm gonna rock with these. Despite not having the original box, it doesn't matter. Sometimes a colorway can make a shoe. Now, no one cares for these Air Max Commandos, but this colorway is fine, but it's in for $94. Stylist, Glottuck, Big T-Shirt, Billy. <laughs> you already know, man. <laughs> They're going for 70. These are Sequoia colorways, and they got multiple sizes, including my size, a size 12. And has come down to the point where we start seeing dunks on shelves. They're no longer flying off the shelf. They're literally sitting and chilling. They're loitering on these shelves out here, yo. 115 for these, that's typical, that's the retail price. And then you got this, that Will Ferrell movie, that's what these remind me of. They're going for 115 though. They're all right, multiple sizes in both. The P6000 in all black, 120 is the price. I need the price to drop down. Maybe at that price I'll buy it, no, I'm just kidding. Nah, no, it's a good shoe. I do own the gray joint, very comfortable. I probably would never have bought that shoe if I didn't see it on an employee's feet. So because he had it on his feet that day and it was hitting for the low, I had a copy for us. So I'm speaking facts, these shoes are comfortable and affordable. And this is the P97 that I purchased in the building because I saw it on someone's feet and it was hitting for so, so, so cheap. They're also here as well. They're going for 60 beans with additional 20% off. They're comfy shoes though. And look at the price I paid with additional discount. We see these in every outlet. They're going for 50 now. I have never tried them on, so I can't tell you anything about them. 90 shoe, trainer low threes, trainer ones, more up tempos. You already know, these are Scotties, 140, pricey. All black flights for 90. I like these though. I'm not a fan of Blazers, but they're here if y'all looking for them. They're him for 60 and 70. And over here, we got more dunks. He's going for 70. Ah, they're creeping down low. 69.97, because it ended with 97, they might have additional discounts. They got these retro highs. They're going for 140, and to the right of that, they got the green and white. They're calling them stadium green and white, 125. You got the uptowns for 115, staple. And you also got the mids over here for 120. Then you got the downtowns, <laughs> the all black highs for 125. That's my ongoing joke. I called up all black pair downtowns and the Jordan just doesn't stop. These are hitting for 160 with additional 20% off. These are Air Jordan 7 infrared, size 11. And there's a plethora of pairs in the building too. Size 11, these probably size 11 as well. Yup. So this is the aisle of the Jordans, man. Let's see what's popping. Wait, 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 wait. Why are these 149 on shelf, but hitting for 159 on the hash wall? But I guess you get an additional 20% off. But shouldn't it be this price with 20 off? Yeah, that's a bit weird. And to the right of that, we got the white cements hitting for 129. I do believe this is $20 more where I have than the cheapest I've ever seen it. The cheapest I have seen it was 108, 109. And then you got the two lows, not a fan of this. And we got a new addition to this outlet, the Air Jordan 1 Low SEs. They're going for 120. These are different. Are these women's shoes? Nah, they're not. But the color just give off GS and women vibes though. Got rocking? More mids, 135. And you got the Laker colorway as well saying, oh, these are 125. What's crazy about these sevens, they're all size 11. We got the LeBron next gen in the building for 134. Not a fan of it, but they're here. These witnesses always been here, they're 90 beans. We got some Zoom Freak fours for 50. I ain't mad at this colorway. I'll definitely hoop in this shoe. And then you got the fives for 54.97. What's that, $5 more? And then you got the team banks in for a lot more money, 70 beans for both colorways. You got the salt and pepper and reverse salt and pepper. If that even makes sense. <laughs> so these are trending in the right direction. These are Air Max 1 SC. They're going for $90. That's, that's dope to see. They do have a size 12 and a half, which is the biggest size I have found thus far, unless I scanned it. Matter of fact, let's do that. Size 14 is the biggest. I know I've shown this Air Max 90 in the building several different times. I actually like it. What's your thoughts on these, man? Especially hitting for 90 beans. That's not a bad price. It's not a bad colorway. Only because I have to. A lot of you guys who watches me live overseas, y'all live across the pond, y'all love your Air Max 2017s, y'all always requesting to show them. They're 109 here, 
and also in this colorway as well. Speaking across the pond, I remember being in England when this shoe first dropped. I think it was like the early 90s. It was during the Gulf War. That much I remember. They went from 139.97 and they got the white one, which could be a better colorway, in my personal opinion, for 119. These are the Air Max Plus, but this is the Air Max Plus OG. Now I gotta fact check myself to see when those shoes actually came out. Even if I'm wrong, I'm still keeping that part in the video. But let's find out when these Air Max Plus OGs came out. I wanna say 1990, 1991. I'm ashamed of myself. I couldn't fathom the Air Max 90 came out that year. It makes sense, the Air Max 90 came out in 1990. I remember being in England. For some odd reason, I also remember seeing those shoes, those Air Max Plus. I don't know if it's a figment of my imagination, deja vu, or maybe I'm just conflating my dates. Maybe I'm just bad with dates. I apologize, man, I told you I was gonna keep it in. See, there's a lot of people who's ashamed for being wrong. It's a learning experience. But anyways, they got these here, these Jordan 13s. I like these, it's a size 11 and a half, but I'm sure they're going for retail. This is actually on my radar. They also got the two lows. They got the women fives, the lucky green joints, and the black and whites. Air Jordan 1s that no one wants. But for the right price, I'll buy them. Oh, they have finally hit the outlet. The Air Jordan 1 women things with the ribbon. They need to change that. Anyways, they're going for 149. Retail was 180, so that's good. They got the twos in the building. Amoneers is dropping in price 150. That's good to see in both colorways. Another 150 shoe. Guys, you're not gonna see another Amoneer 12s no time soon, or probably ever. If they would just remove these ribbons, I think these would sell. I actually like them, man. This would not be my Steve's if I rock them. So, Lace Swap ASAP Rocky. Quality is there, the colorway is there. It's a high OG. They got all the Air Jordan 1 birthmarks, the Nike Air on the tongue. Dope shoe. Price is even better. Now here's a shoe we have found in every other outlet we visited are these Lucky Greens. They're going for 90 beans, Air Jordan 2s. Oh, I just found the Air Jordan 7 and Ferrets also in the building for the GS sizes, but they're for 150. That's the same price as men. As I was about to leave, I ran into a tech fleece rack and it's in for additional 30% off. So I look at the price, size medium tech fleece pants going for $34.97 with additional 30% off, so you're paying $24. And guess what? They got the top to match. But unfortunately, they're all huge sizes XXL, but it's in for the same price though, $34.97. That's not a bad deal. Is it Rapski? So I got what I needed for a great price. The mere fact that I came back a few weeks later and found my actual size. The last time I've been here, I was acquiring about these, but it did not have my size. So much so I had to go to a different outlet that same day to pick up a size close to my size, which is a size 11, but not a 12 and today i found a 12 for the exact same price that i wanted which was 59.97 minus 20 percent off now it's up to me to customize these let's see what i do with these and thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video peace